the combination of piping together Unix tools and writing your own programs in Python provides an excellent environment for data processing. If multiple people need to access and edit the same data at the same time, then you could use a database management system and access that using SQL. So the tools in this course work together quite naturally. But they don't solve all of our problems, because sometimes the data processing that we want to perform extends beyond the scope of a single machine. So now we're going to talk about distributed data processing and big data. Now, big data is really an industry buzzword. People use it in all kinds of different ways. But I think a useful way to distinguish between normal applications and big data applications is that most of the time, big data describes some comprehensive log of some aspect of human behavior or the world around us. Analyzing a big data set can provide insights that you didn't even expect when you collected the data in the first place. For instance, Google keeps track of its query logs, every search that some person issues. It turns out that you can learn about the physical world through the query logs. For instance, you can determine quite accurately when the moon is full just by looking at the search term full moon and seeing whenever it peaks. Now, oftentimes, analyzing a data set like Google search logs requires more than one computer. And Google is not the only company that has big data. Facebook's daily logs extend to something like 60 terabytes. A project to collect 1,000 different genomes has generated 200 terabytes of data. The Google Web Index is something like 10 million gigabytes of data. These data sets are large. Even if you could fit them on a single machine, they would be too large to process in any efficient manner, because the time it takes to read one terabyte of information from disk is on the order of three hours. Well, it turns out that the approach to writing programs we've already learned applies very naturally in the big data setting. Typical hardware for big data applications consists of many hard disks and processors that are really just consumer-grade hardware, the same stuff that an individual would buy. Independent computers are stored in racks rather than each in its individual case. And when racks of servers are placed in a data center, a lot of the data center design is around networking and managing heat and power for these computers and making sure that you have some mechanism for monitoring whether they are behaving correctly. But whenever you build an application that uses many computers, some of them will fail. So one of the central challenges in big data processing is making sure that in this kind of hardware setting, we can still process very large data sets efficiently, even though reading the data in takes a long time. 